Hi everybody, Troy here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel as the case may be. Um, I haven't talked for a long time about fancy books because none of them have been coming into the apartment. However, yesterday one of them did. Um, a fancy book that I ordered months and months ago and then was delayed. Uh, so I'm going to show that off today and I'm going to give a quick uh, Garbology update and a 2024 TBR update and just a general blather update. So let's get started. Um, first off, the fancy book that arrived, and I'm not sure that the lighting in here is going to show off the spectacular, I guess maybe it will, the spectacular pink um, slipcase that uh, this book came in. This is Suntup's edition of Ira Levin's The Stepford Wives, um, which interestingly enough, Alex over at Alex on a Bridge just talked about it great length um, yesterday or the day before. So I'll link his video down below to give you a better synopsis if you're not familiar with the book. Um, so Suntup's edition uh, features some very striking illustrations by... Lori Lee Brom. They're these very evocative um, paintings of women, very evocative of the 70s, of the time frame of the book, um, and sort of the Stepford Wives style. It's interesting, a lot of the women, as they would have been in the 1970s, were smoking, and uh, almost all the women are smoking. Uh, and just the fashions uh, are very fitting for the plot of the book, which again, I'll, I'll kind of just leave if you're not familiar with it. It's, the, it's basically a, uh, it's Ira Levin's interesting, somewhat science fiction-y, somewhat horror-y take on how uh, men in the 70s maybe were viewing the women's movement. So anyway, Suntup put out this this lovely edition uh, that I've been waiting on. I was a little, you know, I was a little nervous when I first, in fact, I, I think I held off ordering for quite a while because it looked like it was a full, just paper bound book and it was pretty expensive, but it is, it, it does have a cloth, um, cloth binding with paper boards and it's just really lovely and those, um, those paintings are, are quite spectacular, really. As usual, they send a, a, a beautiful little uh, bookmark here. The book has an introduction by Peter Straub, which is also available in the current trade paperback. It looks like all of Ira Levin's books are being reprinted. Um, I forget the publisher, but somebody apparently has gotten the rights and is putting out new editions of kind of all of his work, including Stepford Wives. For a while, Stepford Wise was divided between his regular publisher and I think Random House or whatever. But now apparently they're all together again. So we'll be seeing the whole uh, Ira Levin catalog, I think, on bookshelves um, very soon. Okay, so that's the fancy book that came in. I have one more fancy book on order uh, that just I just ordered last month. Suntup announced their edition of Boy's Life by Robert McCammon, which I literally, because I knew how fast that was going to sell out, I literally interrupted a meeting I was in <laughs> to order it that moment. Um, that's one of my favorite books ever. Interestingly enough, I gave that, I gave Boy's Life to my sister Cindy for Christmas. And she just kind of, kind of berated me yesterday uh, when I told her that it wasn't going to be a bookshelf essential for this year. Uh, it certainly is an essential book for my shelves. It just didn't make the first list of 12. Um, although I'll, I'll probably be talking about it uh, later in the year a little bit more as part of my TBR for 2024, which I'll talk about in just a second. Um, <laughs> I'm kind of did I even talk about Stepford Wives? I'm kind of I'm so distracted this morning. Sorry. Um, so Boy's Life, 
uh, is on order from SunTup, uh, but that's not expected to publish until next winter, so that's a while yet. I do know that uh, Folio Society has announced, or at least hinted, that they're going to do a non- um, or a less expensive version of their recent Gormenghast. Um, next month, they're going to announce that in March, and unless that's truly... Uh, horrific for some reason i'm sure i will order that so there's probably a couple a couple of uh, fancy books coming in throughout the year in general though my you know i'm i'm well well situated for books uh so i don't know that there's gonna be a lot of buying uh in 2024 now except for maybe a few fancy editions that get announced so that'll be an interesting change i'm not quite sure how the bookstores in the twin cities will survive but that's we'll, we'll see all right fancy books garbology uh we have finished reading all of the uh submissions for garbology the garbogist anthology of awesome trash ali and i have read through those we have uh a certain number that are already agreed upon and um there's a handful that we want to read again but i would anticipate that acceptance letters emails and rejection emails will go out in probably a couple of weeks and then there'll be some paperwork and so we're on track um, thanks to everybody who submitted it was great reading through those there are um there are some that uh, uh came very close but didn't quite make the cut and that's part of the selection process when you have to winnow down 62 stories but we really enjoyed reading every single one of them so thanks very much for sending those in and uh, i look forward to this book coming out in august and uh, we'll talk more about that so my 2024 tbr i talked in an earlier video that this was kind of going to be i thought the year of reading women and that's still largely true, although there's going to be a little bit more of a mix. Um, so I have 18 books by women that I'm going to read yet this year. That's about six months, so that's about half the year. The other half of the year is going to be taken up with two things. There's six books that I consider six of my all-time favorites that I haven't read for a while and I'm going to read those uh, that brings us up to 24 and then there's the 12 books that I'm naming as bookshelf essentials this year for a total of 36 books which is my average reading um, whatever my my average reading rate for a year is 36 books so those are my 36 books for 2024 uh 18 specifically by women six favorites um and 12 uh bookshelf essentials a few of those are by women too so that looks to be my year now obviously if i have extra time after those 36 those, there's certain books that i have that'll be the pickup books i guess i would call them uh, but that's kind of the plan um what else do i have to talk about oh despite the fact that i have this idea that i can turn my idea everything after into a screenplay i i haven't worked on it at all since that last video our external audit at work begins tomorrow and lasts for three days. And I thought we were in pretty good shape, but I got thrown a little bit of a curveball last Friday. So I have no idea if we're in good shape or not, but I guess we'll find out tomorrow. Um, anyway, it's been super busy. Um, things are gonna calm down a little bit now that the audit's over. I'm not planning to work a lot of nights or weekends anymore uh, so it'll be nice to do some of my own stuff for the remainder of the year and uh alex at unabridged just joined uh, the pack that's been doing these uh science fiction movie lists 
which are driving me a little insane. <laughs> now, the previous list have all uh, touted themselves as the best science fiction movies, but at least Alex has said those were just his favorites, and nobody's hitting the actual right list. So I'm probably going to do... Um, I'm probably going to do a follow-up on that of my own to let people know what the actual best uh, science fiction movies are. And they are also my favorites, so that'll be a great overlap. And then I've got a, uh, probably sometime this week or maybe next weekend, I'll do a, um, a re review or discussion video about the next two books on the Year of Women list. Uh, Faye Weldon's The Life and Loves of a She-Devil and... Uh, Rachel Ingalls' is, uh, Rachel Ingalls, Mrs. Caliban. Those are the next two books coming soon. And then at some point I'll do the February Bookshelf Essential video. All right, I think I've babbled plenty. I will uh, see you all later. Take care.